I tried my best. I picked a great target on on the second shot there, but you know, unfortunately, sometimes you're not going to hit your best shot, and I ended up in the greenside bunker on number nine. So par is still not out of the question yet. Um, we just need to make sure we play this bunker shot with some precision because the green is obviously very slopey. Um, so I've got three hole locations set out where I'm going to have to employ three different strategies on this bunker shot. So a bunker shot to the back pin is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to just play it up there out to the left and let it land, uh, check a little bit and then roll to the right. The one that's in the middle of the green, I'm going to have to play out to the left and try to hit it more up into the hill to stop it. And then the one that's in the front of the green, I'm going to try to land really short and softly in order to get it to stop because that's probably the steepest part of the slope and that's the one everyone runs across the green. Okay, so I'm going to show you three different bunker shots using the terrain in order to get the ball to stop as close to the pin as we can and have a shot for par. Okay, so for this back pin where the flag is, it's going to be a pretty basic shot. All I'm going to do is aim a little left, try to pick out a landing spot, let it land there and kind of filter down to the hole. Okay, so maybe we'll take a practice swing and try to feel the right distance. It landed just a little further than I wanted and ended up just past the pin. But definitely I would take that on this to that hole location. Okay, so that was probably the easiest bunker shot of the three. Um, as we move to this middle pin, we need to try to use the slope of the green to try to stop this ball. Because if I go straight at the pin, it's gonna land on the down slope and run right across the green. So what I'm gonna try to do is land it short and a lot to the left of this flag try to get it to check into the hill, into the uphill part of the green, and then filter down to the right. So a little trickier, but if we can pull it off, we can get this right next to the flag. So here we go. I've picked out my target nice and short and a lot to the left. And then pretty good. I used the slope, got that to slow down. Oh, and that might've gone in if there was a hole there. That was good. Okay, and then the third one, also very tricky. Um, this one, we'll call it the professional chunk. So we're basically trying to get it to land in the fringe or you know maybe just under the green with, with kind of dead weight. So it comes out really slowly. Um, so for that one, you gotta really slow the swing speed down. You're bringing in, leaving it in the bunker. It becomes a possibility, but you know, if we wanna get this close, we have to kind of take on a little bit more risk. Okay, so we're gonna go nice and slow on this one. I carried that a little too far, but still on the green, still putting for par. Okay, so three different bunker shots, depending where the pin is. And that way you can employ different strategies for all three shots to get the ball close.